Money. Rosa's lawyers say next week they'll appeal the decision by a federal judge to keep Rosa's case against Giamatti in federal court and not send it back to Hamilton County instead. Rosa, of course, says Giamatti is too biased to hear charges that Rose bet on red games. If the charges are true, he could be kicked out of the major leagues for life. But the big story in Red Baseball today is an unbelievable amount of runs. They scored in just one inning of this afternoon's game. They scored 14, count them, 14 times on a major league record of 16 hits, all before the second inning even started. News 5 Sports Director Ken Brew joins us to show us how they pulled off such an incredible home run spree, and well, it was incredible. It'll, uh, it'll teach me to be five minutes late because I missed the first <laughs> four runs. Uh, you had to be there to believe it. It took the Reds five games to score 14 runs this past week. It took them only 38 minutes to get the same amount of players across the plate today. For a team that's been desperate for runs, the Reds got a bucket full today. 18 in all, 14 in the first inning alone. Todd Benzinger had four hits, Jeff Reed had four, and Ken Griffey drove in four runs. Three here, and that ball is out of here. That ball is way out of here. It was 14 to nothing after the first inning. How good was it? The Reds not only battered around twice in that inning, every batter got a hit. In fact, seven of them got two hits in that inning. And the 16 hits the Reds had in the first inning, it broke a modern-day Major League record. And for the 20,000-plus who showed up today, this was like the oasis after a desert full of losses. The best inning I've ever seen. It was awesome. Bing, bing, bing. One run after the other. I'm enjoying it. I mean, back in, see the rest of it. I think they're just going to build on this. Real impressive. Sure. Tom Browning went all the way to win it in the best day at the ballpark this season. We'll have more on this game coming up tonight at 5.30 and again at 6 o'clock. Uh, the Reds still a chunk behind in the National League West, but a great day at the ballpark to say the least. A couple more days like this, maybe they could make it up. If they put a burr under, under the Cincinnati Reds saddle. Well, you know, the thing is, is the way those guys were pitching today. I mean, it was like Jim Lett out there. You know, at batting mm -hmm. practice time, just kind of <laughs> grooving them in. I'm not, hey, completely, we'll every day. I'm not completely convinced that you and I couldn't have had three or four hits today if we were out there. Certainly not you, Mr. I could be I could be convinced of that perhaps at a later date, but right now I'm open to anything. If I wasn't there myself, I wouldn't have believed it. But as we say in the business, the videotapes don't lie. Eighteen to two, the Reds win. All I could think of sitting down there today was save it. I mean, cut it off at ten and save it for the weekend. But it doesn't work that way, and so be it. It was a quasi legendary performance. Ken Griffey, three run homer. Deep to right center field, you can uh, kiss it goodbye. All right, we'll stay in the first inning. Jeff Reed, four hits today, this single to right. Rolando Rooms comes in and scores. The Reds are up 5-0. It's just a lot of fun, you know. I mean, everybody's going up the plate hitting. You know, and everybody's joking around, having a good time. We're scoring runs, and uh, it's just a fun time. Still the first. Jim Clancy lifted after the Reds score seven. He didn't get anybody out. Bob Force comes in. He was awful, too. Still the first. Todd Benzinger laces the double down the right field line. Room, Griffey, Davis all score. The Reds have a 13-0 lead. They had 14 runs and 16 hits in the first inning alone. Look at the dugout. They were having fun. Even Pete was able to smile. Let's go to the seventh. Room's here, and you can pucker and plant it because that baby's in kiss. Dead center field. Benzinger scores in front of Rooms, and the Reds are up 17 to two. And Rooms was—he was having a great day today. Oh, we were like, Jesus! I guess slapped somebody else's hand. <laughs> and he just kept on going back and forth. It was like, you know, anybody make out, get fined. You know, we were having fun for a change. You know, it's been a long time since we can go out there and have some fun. Tom Browning—he was aces. He went the entire nine, didn't walk a batter, struck out one. Gets Alex Trevino to fly out to right to end it. 18 to 2. Browning says with that big of a lead, all he had to do was throw strikes. Yeah, you just try to go out there and do whatever you can. When you got that big a lead, you just want to go out there and throw strikes and uh, get them out as quick as possible. And you know, because I, I knew they didn't feel like they had a chance of coming back to win. And I just, like I said, I just tried to go out there and stay aggressive and, and throw strikes. Listen to these records that went down today, okay? Major League records: most hits in one inning, 16. Most batters with two hits in one inning. Seven Reds did it today. Most batters with three or more hits for the game. That ties a major league record with seven. And the Reds set a club record today. Most runs in one inning. No Reds team has ever scored more than what they did today. Fourteen. Now, here's another record they set. Most singles in one inning. They had 12. Major league record. Pete never saw anything like it. Never. 
I think we had seven guys get two hits in the first inning. Yeah. We had one one guy had a chance of getting three. Uh, Quinones. Bennett's